Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. Today I'm making an everyday deco mesh wreath using this sign that I got from Craft Outlet. It says home sweet home. It's got Louisiana and a floor de lis with a little faux wooden background. I got it from Craft Outlet. These are usually about like $3.50 to $4 somewhere up in there. Uh, I'm trying to do some more like everyday wreaths in between holidays. Don't fall. Um, there's my mesh. If you wanted to be surprised, I'm sorry. Seeing if I had more than I had one back there upstairs. So, this is the sign we're going to be using. I was going to prep this, but I think my uh, pipe cleaner is underneath all of that. So, this is a 14 inch wire frame from Dollar Tree. These are currently back ordered on Dollar Tree's website. And I had to go to a Dollar Tree way, way out of my way. Um, to find them and I just found them by a complete stroke of luck. I guess somebody out there was feeling sorry for me and they were like, oh, we really should give him these frames. He's been driving all over Louisiana for. Not much of an exaggeration. I literally went to every Dollar Tree. So this is wired already. My mom was kind enough to wire these for me though. Now that I'm looking at it, maybe I should have supervised her a little better, but no, she's, she's my hands have really been hurting, um, and if I can let somebody help me, I'm going to let them. So there's 18 pipe cleaners total, there's three in each section. One in the center of these two rings, and then two on the outside. There's a whole video on my channel, if it's not linked up below, just search WIRE on my YouTube channel and it'll pop up, but I will try to remember to link it down below. My mesh is cut at 10 inches there's 24 of these and at 18 inches there's six of those you should be able to cut the 18 ones at 20 but the rolls of mesh are not always 360 inches like they should be so we're going to do 24 no 24 yeah 24 curls in the 12 outside and then six ruffles on the inside so i'm going to start off with I think I'm going to start off with my curls just because I don't like doing curls. But this is a one roll mesh, one roll, one mesh wreath, I guess I should say. Um, and this is one of the best ways I've seen to do it. I saw this from Damon Oates. I do not invent this. I do not take credit for it. I'm just using it to profit on my own. So here's two curls rolled up, cut sides down. Here's one cut side. Here's the other one. We're going to put them in here. Make an X. Put them in here and twist them in. We're going to do that all the way around. I'm going to do two more and add in a ruffle just to show you how it's done. And then I'm going to go and fill everything in. So curl, curl, and I cut the ruffles first just so these curls are closer to the cardboard tube because it makes them curl a little bit easier um, and you just you don't want them to be super tight you just want them to just curl in a, enough okay so that's that and then for our ruffles we're going to take our 18 to 20 inch piece pull this side under Pull it up, make our little bow tie shape, farfalle, is that what it is? Is that what the pasta, farfalle? And then get this in here. So that's what it'll look like. I'm gonna go and do all my curls, I'm gonna do my ruffles, and I will meet you on the other side.
All right, I have all my curls in all the way around. There are 24 of them, like I said. Nice full base already. And now I'm gonna add in my ruffles. If I didn't mention, this uh, deco mesh is from Joann's. It's in their spring section, or their spring collection. Um, what is it called? It's a place and time good nature collection. Um, I don't know why it's black and brown and it's for spring, but it's got a honeybee on it. So there you go. So yeah, doing my ruffles. I'm gonna put those all the way around. I'm gonna meet you back up on the other side. Please stay there. that's a base it's not terribly full it's not terribly thick but um it has come to my attention that not everyone wants a four foot wreath on their door i think it's kind of weird myself but to each their own i think let me see i want to do this because i want to make big bows well not big bows it's only going to have three ribbons in them but i'm using a four inch ribbon so like if this was a vertical sign i think it would be so much better because you do bow 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 but when we have a horizontal sign, I guess I could put it down here and then do bow, bow, bow. I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing. And I think if it's way down here, I should be able to just That is gonna, I mean, that's pretty much dry already. They're still a little warm. I'm just gonna throw it over here. It was behind the table, of course, why wouldn't it be? My, let me see, which do I wanna use? I know I'm using my Magnolia ribbon because New Orleans, Louisiana. Um, I'm either gonna use this stripe, this argyle, and then either the, these are going to be like huge bows they're just going to be um the two loop bows but whichever one i don't use in one of them has to become tails well both of them might become tails and then i'll put them with whatever one's left after this okay so, um i think the stripes i'm feeling stripes y'all feeling stripes i'm always feeling cabana stripes So, this is my four inch Magnolia ribbon. And I was thinking last night, and I was like, there's gotta be like a ratio on this. So let me, let me go slow at him for a moment. All right, I'm making my bows now, and they're gonna be six inch loops. And I was thinking last night, like there's gotta be a ratio that I'm not thinking of when I'm making these tails. So if we do six inch loops, let me just do a six inch loop here. Okay, so that's a six inch loop. We want our tail to stick out six inches plus Why does it sound like circus music? 
cut set. Six inches plus whatever the width of the ribbon is. So if this is four inch, we're gonna do 10 inch because when we dovetail this, we're gonna cut this off, which is cutting off two inches, which will bring it down to eight at the lowest point here. This will still be 10. This will be eight and it'll stick out. You could probably do like three. I'm gonna do 10 just to see where we're at. You know what, let me do eight. Cause I, I, this is just like something I was thinking of and I was like, there's gotta be like a ratio that I'm not thinking of to make, make sure that point of the dovetail sticks out just past the edge of the loop. see a little bit better. this loop this dovetail to come just to that loop so it's eight inches so depending on the width of your ribbon it's gonna be like two inches more does that make sense well if it didn't blame my math teacher I need is miss Jackman or miss Campbell or I had a guy teacher once I don't remember his name I'm gonna do this exact same thing with this one and then with either the white dot or the black dot. And I'm gonna make three of these. So I'll catch you on the other side. that on there. Oh, I could have left it like that if I had done two rolls of mesh, but we did not do two rolls of mesh, so we're gonna have to finish this. Yeah, so when I come back, I'll have the other two bows on and we will cut the ribbon tail. We'll attach the ribbon tail. The ribbon tail is already be cut. Okay, I have cut some ribbons of various sizes. Uh, I got five ribbons. I don't know why I cut so many, but since I have what's going on over here, I'm trying to get the sign out because it looks super flat now with the bows on. Because I hit it with hot glue, I had to go in and actually cut it out, which that's fine. So now that's back in there and it is not cold as snugly anymore so it doesn't look like it's sitting like inside the wreath. I think this magnolia ribbon is a little overbearing but that's because it's all at the top so I cut some tails to put at the bottom. I only cut six because I feel like 12 four inch ribbon tails all the way around this thing would be um well it would be a lot of ribbon first of all and just a bit much. So I think what I'm gonna do, bear with me here, I'm going to alternate 
every other one of these is going to get a magnolia ring, a magnolia ribbon. And then I'm going to alternate with either the stripes or the plaid. I'm thinking the stripes. The stripes will go with this and this. So the, the one dot, one half the ties will have the magnolia, the stripes and the dots. The other one will have the argyle and the black and natural dots. There's, I've never done four inch tails before. I don't know that it's a good idea, but who knows? So these are already all folded in half. I mean, I already forgot what I was gonna do. I'm gonna put these in. I'm gonna go all the way around and then this wreath will be done because I'm not adding anything else to it. Just folding these to get the midpoint. So these are cut at 12 inches. do one set and then come back and do the other ones. So when I put these in here, I'm just going to stack these together in the middle. And this is, these are both three thick ribbons, so I'm going to kind of try to pleat them pretty tightly. And all my outside pipe cleaner should still be on here. All right, so thanks for hanging out with me while I made this wreath. If you want to buy this wreath, it will be directly linked down below. If you want to buy a wreath like this, my Etsy will be linked down below. If you want to join us on Patreon where I'm going to post that um, unlisted video for all to see, you can join for $5 a month. You can follow me on Instagram, also linked down below. And if you just want to tip me on Venmo to buy me a box of peppermint tea to help calm my nerves, you can do that too if you want to. Also, business, he would like y'all to tip him $14.99 on Venmo so he can get more probiotic treats because he loves his probiotic treats and he can only have them once a day and it's very upsetting for him. So thanks for watching. Um, thanks for listening. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.